So now here's a demonstration circuit I came up with to get people more familiar with the 555 timer. What's on the board is slightly different. There's another LED from what's on the uh, schematic here. But in uh, any case, the uh, light dependent resistor here is determining whether the output is high or low. Right now the output is low. That's why the blue LED is lit up. Resistors are going positive through the LED and then uh, to ground through the output right there. If we get the light dependent resistor dark enough, Right there, you can see the red LED lights up. So the way we have this wired, the schematic I should say, wired up, we just want light to happen when we get it dark enough there. And so if we want to make this a night light though, the red LED is not uh, the best choice. We'll zoom in so we can get a better look. White LEDs, they actually use less current than the red ones when you got the same protective resistor and the uh, same voltage, but they get pretty bright right there. I can see the ceiling, uh, the room. Uh, at night, you could get through a room uh, fairly easily, even with that amount of light there. So a night light would be a little more like this. Now, this isn't a perfect circuit. We are actually using about two milliamps of current approximately. This isn't completely accurate, even when the LED is off. So we could probably improve this even with the 555 timer, but there's definitely ways to improve it. But there you can see, even when the LED is on, we are only using about four milliamps of current. So this is pretty uh, efficient. So now let's take a quick look at uh, the schematic up closer for those who want uh, some extra coverage of this. So we got uh, pin three and it's either connected to the positive supply high or is what you usually use to describe it and the LED will light up. So it doesn't make a direct connection, it has to go through some transistors. But ultimately that's the connection it makes. You lose a, some voltage, you got like four volts. When it's low, it makes a pretty good connection to ground. That's zero volts on both sides. Uh, the LED is not gonna light up. It needs a voltage difference. So you can see we got three there. That is the output. And when it comes to the physical component, number three is always right there. No matter where it says three on the board, you just uh, connect whatever says uh, three and is connected to it. That's how you connect it on the board. Hope that makes sense. So, in any case, the reason why the output is high when it is high, pin number two, right there, two is the trigger pin. It actually wants the output to be high all the time. Uh, it's not high right now though. We'll explain why in a little bit. So we have it connected directly to ground through a resistor though, not a direct connection, there's a resistor, but it's zero volts. That's the voltage it sees. So it doesn't matter the value of the resistor. We could make a direct connection to ground with a, just a jumper or use a higher value resistor. That's a thousand ohms. As long as it's not so high that it's like an insulator and stray signals can throw it off, you have a connection to ground zero volts right there. So that tells the output to be high all the time. But the output's not high all the time. It's not high right now because we have a low input to pin four. So pin four right there, bottom left, is the reset pin. And a reset pin, when it has a low input, the output's low no matter what. So it doesn't matter what pin two wants. Pin four has a low input, the output's low. Uh, end of story, right there. So hopefully that makes sense. Reset pin overpowers anything else the 555 timer wants to do. So that's the output low. Now, it's not low all the time, because just like with the resistor here, if we didn't have a resistor of the positive supply, then it would be always connected a low. The output would always be low. We have a pull up resistor or the high side of a voltage divider, whatever you wanna call it. There's a number of ways you could uh, name it. But in any case, we have, in this case, a 100,000 ohm resistor there. So I just use different value resistors till uh, one of them worked uh, to get the response I want with the light level that I want. We can adjust the sensitivity since uh, we're using this light dependent resistor, no matter what, there are different light dependent resistors with different resistances, but uh, it's easier just to grab one and then start adjusting the fixed value resistor till you get the results you want. So if we had a lower value resistor, it would keep the voltage higher for uh, longer. You would need brighter light to get the light dependent resistor to set the output low. And if you had a higher value uh, fixed resistor right there, then 
it would have a harder time connecting to the positive uh, supply. You'd have to make it even darker for the light dependent resistor to get the uh, voltage to not be close to zero. So when it comes to the reset input uh, for the 555, I don't know that there's a fixed voltage that it responds to. I think it may be uh, variable. And uh, so just experiment with different value uh, fixed resistors until you get the result that you want. So in any case, if you weren't uh, terribly familiar with the 555, hopefully this helped and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.